Good morning. It's um, Wednesday morning, seven in the morning. It's cold. I think it's 55, 50 degrees out, something like that, which is, I don't know, I'll tell you in a minute. But anyway, this is not a live video because I don't have Wi-Fi. So I'm out for my morning walk and I thought I'd show you where I'm gonna go, what I'm gonna do. This is the view right across from my hotel. I know, uh, and uh, I'm gonna be going to this island right back here. Let's see if you can see. It's not really an island. It's right there. It's not an island, obviously. It's a, I guess it's a peninsula. It's not much bigger than a, it's a garden. It's, a, uh, it's called the um, Queenstown Garden. So let's see if I can get out here and show you a little bit. I think it rained again last night. It didn't surprise me at all. You see the snow still up in the mountains up here. Well, let me turn this way. See this view that looks like here. So it's quite brisk outside, like I said. So I'm going to be, um, you're gonna see a lot of videos with me with my scarf and hat on and my jacket because I didn't bring a lot of other things. It's summer, I wasn't really thinking of it. I'm really glad I brought my Scottish gloves with me because boy those have been so warm but there's really not a lot of people out running around I'm really surprised I would think that as nature heavy as this town is everybody's out doing something physical that you would see a lot of joggers and a lot of runners I mean you know joggers and runners are the same thing yes I already know that but you would think you would see a lot of those kind of people on the trail Especially since this hotels, this is a row of hotels here, as you can see. Um, you would think that they'd be all on this path. Here's the path. The path! It's a path! <laughs> you don't really see anybody out on the path. I don't know. I, I'm anxious to get up in the morning to go for, go for a walk. It's so beautiful. Here's this island I'm going to again. Not island, I keep calling it, I know I keep calling it island. It's um, area I'm gonna go to. I'm gonna turn this off in a minute and then let you, uh, and then I'll record when I get over there. I've been listening to the Lord of the Rings on audio. I watch the movies on the plane. I watched The Hobbit at home over three or four days before I got here and I hardly ever watch anything on TV movies or anything of that sort but I wanted to kind of pay more attention to the scenery and uh, oh wow it is beautiful here it really is and then on the plane as I said I watched the beginning the first Lord of the Rings and almost the end movie the five army ones I think is what it's called I almost finished that and now I'm listening to the books on tape again which is actual the actual book and oh, I really appreciate it gosh it's blistering cold I'm getting a free oh, it's freezing just got a piece of wind going through me right now that just like a knife of ice it feels you know what it feels a lot like Alaska it's just that beautiful um, we went on a cruise with the JRF 2007 and it it reminds me a lot of it and the coldness in the air big time so I feel like I'm back on one of the islands in Alaska so I'll catch you guys in a little bit bye okay so I'm at the Queenstown Gardens it's um, just a little after 7 in the morning I've only run across a couple people it is uh, my hotel room the hotel is way over in the other side of the bay i guess you would call it that where you see cars kind of moving and let's look around me there's a path a path and there's art so let's see what there is to see we have it says it's a short walk uh, there's an ice arena here wow that's interesting so 
let's follow this path and let's just see what we come across. Stay with me. Okay, so we got to a nice, really pretty place. Well, everything's pretty here. You can see up here on the very top, where is it? See, right there you have the uh, ski, ski lift or the ski uh, area. And um, my hotel's probably right a straight across from where I'm looking at right now. Um, we're, I'm right at the other side of the, of the, uh, of the bay. And again, I've only passed maybe two joggers, three joggers. There's something really nice about the camaraderie of early morning people. Oh, look at, here's where they grow Trump's hair. <laughs> ah, just waiting to be pruned and, and made, made nice. Ship it to him. But <clears throat> anyway, but uh, yeah, it's, it's nice when you're, when you're out early in the morning and people are so very, very nice. They know that you're, you're one of them. It's, I got a, somebody liked my hat, <laughs> but um there's a couple ahead of me that are walking along, enjoying the day. Very pretty. Still thinking that we're wondering about this. It goes out to this white little, this wire going out here. Is this an electrical wire? Is it something else? But it just seems like such an odd place to have a wire going out halfway. I guess the small boats could go underneath it. It goes out to this white um, pole out there. So I don't really understand that. I'll have to find somebody to ask. What's the deal with that? Very pretty foresty. Listen to the birds. It's nothing like Australia, which would be, the birds would just be <clears throat> alive with uh, sound. I mean, really amazing sound. I remember when I was staying with Chris Guest in Melbourne at uh, two or three in the morning, I kept waking up to the sounds of some very loud sounds of birds, very odd sounding uh, staccato kind of birds sounds. Really fascinating. Here it's just kind of a mellow, mellow sounds. They're just kind of in the background like you would notice any other kind of bird. Nothing extreme. There's a Kiwi Park somewhere very near to where we are, kind of near that gondola. And I'm thinking of going there today. It's a Kiwi preserve. They feed the birds and raise them. And supposedly I'll be able to get lots of nice photos and videos of them. So I'm tempted to go there today. Sterling's still in bed. Um, after this, I'll go back to the room, take a shower. See, here's these lines. Can you see that? I'll go take a shower and have breakfast at the hotel. Sterling doesn't like it. He says it was awful. I said it was great. So, you know, what are you going to do? Yeah, see, I just don't quite understand why they go part of the way. It seems like it'd be very dangerous to have that there. There's no lights on them. I guess everybody just knows they're there. And the big ships wouldn't go through there. Only be small ships. You know, if this is California, this all these hills would be full of houses. Get this little clearing up here. Can you see that? Not quite sure. What's going on with that? Okay, so let me continue. Well, I've uh, gone all the way through, and yeah, it's very pretty. And I'm very much alone, pretty much. It feels a lot like I'm on mist. Do you remember that that game? It feels a lot like it with the sound of the water just lapping up continuously. A little stream here. Up in here is an ice skating rink. Nobody there. I thought people went to these ice skating rinks early in the morning, like before they go to school. So it's a Wednesday, but I didn't see any cars in the parking lot or anything. Um, I looked, it's 39 degrees Fahrenheit. So 
I don't know, what is that, like eight Celsius, something like that. It's cold. I have to have my gloves on and uh, my nose is freezing. Um, I'm going to be spending a long time in the shower, <laughs> getting warm. So uh, there's other paths. Let me see what else I can find. And look what I found, a rose garden. There's another path up here. There's uh, tennis courts. And apparently there's a pond somewhere. I saw an arrow. But uh, well-maintained rose garden. Let's see if there's anything here I recognize. Um, there's a little greenhouse over here. Nobody on the tennis courts. Oh, there's somebody. I'm not alone. A couple people over there. Oh, look at how beautiful. What do we have? Look at this garden. Oh my goodness. If I could just come out here and take lunch out here. Look at these. Wow. And look, no aphids. Well, I don't know. Maybe it's too cold for aphids here. We'd have aphids like crazy in our area. And nothing needs to be deadheaded. This looks really well maintained. This is called White Romance. It'll be absolutely gorgeous when it blooms. Probably in the next couple weeks. And then... What else? Yeah, see, it's summer. It's going to be here in a couple days. December 1st is the summer here. And then down here, this is called Kate Shepherd. Never heard of that. Kate Shepherd. And this is called Golden Gift. Boy, somebody really has come in here and done a really nice job. Look at how beautiful these are. It's a lot of work to maintain a rose garden. I've all but given up on my roses. I just haven't had time to go out and to um, keep them in good shape. Land of Long White Cloud. It must be so pretty when they all start going at once, which shall be in a few weeks. Mil Millennium. Look at the redness. Look how red. Just rows and rows. Oh, I'm so glad I found this area. Just so glad. Cup fever. Hey, this one's for you, Jay. I wonder if they're gray cups. <laughs> it's too hard to tell yet. They're not yet blooming. And these back here, I, um, there's a honeybee. Can you see it? I don't know why. This is very tropical. I can't think of what this is. I want to say it's kind of, the leaves of it look like a um, camellia plant and it kind of grows like it, but I've not seen a camellia like this, but you know, it's very tropical. I mean, there's a lot of rain here. See if I can figure out what that is. And this also looks like some kind of jasmine-y, no. The leaves also kind of look like a camellia, uh, camellia. But I don't recognize it. You can hear the bee. Here he is down here. You can hear him buzzing away. <clears throat> Here's a plaque. In commemoration of the, of the early Mori. Morari, I don't know how to pronounce it. I'll, I'm sure I'll be able to pronounce it by the time I leave New Zealand in this area. And the legendary swim across Lake Wakatipu of Hari Te Kura, a young <laughs> I shouldn't have started reading this because I obviously can't read it. A woman who lived in the early 18th century, so 1700s. Look, still. I don't see anyone. Are you surprised? I am. 
it's, it's a lot warmer now. This is called Anniversary. I don't recognize that at all. Never heard of it. Um, I have to pick up a flower book here. Here's a Haley Westerner. I wonder if they have a fragrance to them. Nope, no fragrance. Just pretty. They've got benches to sit out on. Really like these kinds of trees. I saw something like this in um, Scotland, that tree. Ah, I see some pruning that needs to be done over here. Where's my pruners? Got some volunteer, um, some, um, whatever it's called, coming out of here. Shouldn't be there at all. Janice Wallace. Okay, so let me go walk around and see what else there is to see. Look at the baby ducks. Oh my gosh. Look at them. Oh, they are so darn cute. So I found the pond. Uh, pond. I'm not going to record long here because they're mowing the lawn. It's a little loud. But I just had to stop and show you the baby ducks. Oh my goodness, they're coming right up to my feet. Hey, little baby ducks. <laughs> oh my god, look at, look at him, he's so close. Hi, how are you? Can you see? You guys are on a video. Ducks are over there, they don't care. I don't have anything for you to eat, sorry. Oh, I hate to leave them, they're so darn cute, but okay. So he's still mowing, but I just had to show you how beautiful this is out here. Look at the ducks. I don't understand why this park is not full of people. Look at this on this side. It's probably in the morning now. Yes, I know it's a Wednesday. Yes, I know it's cold. Yes, I know it's not quite uh, summer. I just can't understand why this place is not flooded. It maybe, maybe Queenstown is so beautiful everywhere that people are just who live here are just jaded with how beautiful. It is and how well maintained everything is and they say eh, that looks like my back door and no big deal you know this is what it's like everywhere I don't know but look how beautiful he has to stop and wait for the ducks to move out of the way of the lawnmower don't worry he's not mowing any <laughs> ducks Wow. I'm so lucky to be here. I am so fortunate to have been here. I'm so glad I got up this morning. It was so warm in my bed. I said, I'm going to get up and go. And take my time and go by myself. Look at this place. Okay, let me see what else there is to find. And here's some sort of memorial dedicated to William Gilbert Rees of Havford, West Wales, pioneer and first settler of Queenstown in 1800. He brought his family up the lake by whale boat to settle near this spot as a run holder. I don't know what a run holder. 
Lightly esteemed for his integrity, determination, and kindness, he won the regard of all who knew him in the late and the early days of settlement of this town and district. I wonder what a rent holder is. Somebody watching this is going to know. I know it. So let's see what else there is to show you guys. Hold on. Okay, well, I've come to the end for the moment. There's a couple other paths, but I think I'm going to take them maybe tomorrow morning. It's, um, my stomach's growling. <laughs> I've been out for a while. There's a lot to see and there's a lot of people start starting to show up, but these people are mostly look like they're employees working along here someplace. <laughs> oh, I'm a mess, but that's okay. You know, I'm out here enjoying the day. It's so pretty, but, um, I have a bit of a walk back to get to my hotel and shower and go have, um, breakfast with Sterling. Get them up moving. See you guys later.